again from Northern Ontario. My name is Dave and this is Macaro Siding, my hand skill layout. Today we're going to work on a uh, brick building, uh, an abandoned building, uh, which is very low relief and it's going to go on the layout of, uh, in amongst the, uh, the buildings in the uh, uh, industrial area, just uh, the other side of the, of the switching yard. So I'm just going to quickly s switch over here to s 6 so you can see uh, well, maybe not. Hold on. Let me let me find it, guys. Uh, sorry. Let's go to six. Preview six. There we go. Preview six and switch. There she is. Sorry. <laughs> I tested it before I started. I don't know what went wrong there. So this is the building that I uh, I found online. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take cues from this building to build my own. And so I've already started on on this. Um, so here's the building itself. I'm gonna I'm gonna back out. Let me see there we go. That's better. Back. So what I've done is I've braced the back of it and I've already glued some uh, wood uh, across the bottom three window areas that will look like they are uh, boarded up from the inside. I have uh, I have cut out using my laser cutter the brick facade of the building and so what we're going to do for the first half of the video is we're going to glue glue down most of this stuff and once it's glued down uh, we'll stop the video and then we'll wait until everything's dry which will be overnight and uh, we will then uh, weather and paint and, and touch up the building to make it look like it's old and uh, and abandoned. So here we go. So what I'm going to be using is uh, Eyelid's Tacky Glue. Uh, it's my, my favorite choice of glue. Whoops, there we go. Pops off. And I'm going to I'm going to put some some glue down and then I'm going to grab a toothpick here and spread it around. So uh, Eileen's Tacky Glue is, is probably the best stuff to use for this kind of stuff. I'm gluing, uh, I'm gluing uh, the, uh, the bricks texture which is on a paper base onto a uh, Onto a brick tech, uh, onto uh, cardstock, and I've already uh, some of the detailed pieces. I've already glued them together, and I'm just gonna glue this in place here, making sure I get the glue spread out along the edges. So that everything sticks right down and we don't have anything loose. And again, here we go. Now, where did I put my, oh there's my acid brush. So I have an acid brush, this is normally used for, I buy them because they they're cheap, dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. But I also, uh, so I'm gonna spread this glue around enough to make sure it catches all of the edges and that uh, I don't have anything that's loose and sticks up. Like I say, these brushes are dirt cheap. And if you're careful with them, you can reuse them. I know lots of people just use them once and throw them away, but I'm a, I'm a cheap Scotsman and I, uh, I, uh, I don't do that. <laughs> so, I've got this covered, and I've got a little container over here with some fluid in it that's going to 
clean the brush. I'm just going to put that out of the way there. So the first piece I'm going to put on is the, uh, the front facade of the building. And uh, all these parts were, uh, were cut out on my laser cutter, which is a, a sculpt of fun uh, laser cutter. And where is my bowl? Oh. And I finally found I finally found something that I've been looking for for a long time, uh, in amongst all the things that I that I own, which is this roller. So here we go. We get the roller in place, and we get to push push this 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 down the way it should be. So next, we're going to take a little bit more glue. Going to uh, put it up here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my my brush and I've got a rag here to clean it off with. Whoops! Gotta be careful here. Got bits and pieces laying all over the place. Oh, that was just oh, that was just a cap, cap for the for the Eileen's. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna take this brush here, and we're gonna ionized tacky glue is just that. It is very tacky. It's reasonably quick drying. So here we go. So now we have that, I'm going to put the brush up there. We're going to take the top part of the building and put it in place. And we're going to roll it out. Make sure it's in good contact with the, uh, with the building itself. Okay. Now we're going to start on bits and parts, so we don't want to be squeezing the glue out onto uh, onto any surface too vigorously. So I've got a piece of foam here, or not foam, cork here, a scrap fork, cork, and I'm just going to put some glue out on it. Cap the bottom, and I'm going to grab the. Uh, Grab the glue and then I'm going to grab parts of the building that need to be glued together here. So in order to, uh, to make the building a little bit more realistic, we have some relief brickwork. And in the photograph there is the same kind of relief. So I'm just going to do this. And now this is going to, oops. I've done this out of order here. Hold on. We'll we'll put this one in place and then we'll fix this. Because it's uh, I should have put in the uh, the foundation wall first. Now this uh, this textured uh, that you see here is actually uh, it is in uh, relief. I'm uh, sorry, just reaching back here for some, some clamps. So we're gonna, we're gonna take these and put them in place, and then we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do the same again. Put this up against the uh, the foundation, and put a little. Oh, geez, Dave. Well, there's the first mess of the day. Managed to get the glue all over my hand. And we're going to take the take this and squeeze it, and we're going to. So that's in place there like that. Now we're going to 
going to take the, uh, the glue again. And this is basically a rinse and repeat operation. I've got four strips of uh, brick that need to uh, need to go on the, uh, the structure itself. And then some other relief work that needs to go on as well. So we're going to put this in place. And again, I'm going to grab two more of my little clothespins. And we're going to put that in, oops, put that in place. Let's get that there where we want it to be. those in place so you can see there's there's a bit of relief now on the uh, on the structure and so take a little bit more of uh, Eileen's tacky glue and spread it out on the cork here Again, I'm going to spread it on the, uh, on the relief sections. And then we're going to eyeball it in the center there. tried this before so I'm not sure whether it will reach. Okay. I'm thinking out loud right now. Okay, I've got one right here. So we're going to take this it in place and I'm going to have to run over to where I keep the rest of those clamps and uh, grab those because I didn't think I need them uh, I'll be a second I'll just be a second Wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't forget something. <laughs> so here I got a bunch, a bunch of clamps now. So now we're going to take the next next one of these. Excess. So we grab another one of these these clamps where I can do it right at the edge. No problem. And we will actually moving. That is okay. There we go. Squeeze that down. Oops. Realize 
Oh no, that's got it. That's got it. So we're gonna we're gonna stop the video right now and let this uh, let this set up. And once it's set up, we will. Uh, come back and we'll do the rest of the uh, the detailing on the building All right so it'll be a couple of minutes 10 15 minutes for me but uh, to half an hour and it will be all of 30 seconds for you so we'll see you then so we're back uh, the uh, the glue is uh, set up I'll switch over so you can see where we're at here so here we are. So we're going to take all these clamps off. There's still more pieces to go on here, but these all needed to uh, set up and, and dry before we could motor on. So I'm pulling all of this off. Clamps out of the way here. And uh, we'll put the, uh, the building down. Okay, this one didn't stick. So, that's a pain in the ass. I, was like, I didn't expect, I wanted that to be stuck down by this point. But we'll, uh, we'll soldier on here. So uh, I've got to find where are they? Isn't that always the way things get lost? Okay. There. Oh, is this it here? Yeah, this is it. So this one's going to cross the top here. That goes across here like this. So I'll stick it down there. Now put that up there, and we'll shake out another toothpick. We'll clean up the excess glue here. There we go. Go. So now I'll take the uh, apply the clamps again. So then we have these other decorative pieces that go on here. They go right in the middle. And the middle here. And then these two go on the the outer edge. Like that. So you can see it's going to take some time and it's kind of finicky. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, call it quits for tonight. Uh, 
and that will allow me to uh, that'll allow me to uh, let this all set up and get the way I want it to be. Um, and then in the morning, which will be Thursday, uh, we will continue on with uh, with putting everything in place and uh, and eventually starting the weathering on, on this building. So, uh, thanks for watching t for tonight, and uh, you'll see me in 10 or 15 seconds, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, uh, we'll see how it goes then. All right, so for tonight, good night. Well, we're back, uh, and the, the building is is uh, built, uh, and I'll just put it on. I'll put it on camera here, um, and we'll switch over. And there you go. You can see it. And uh, we're going to uh, we're going to weather the thing now. You can see I already sort of did a little bit down here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my airbrush and I'm going to just spritz down the uh, the uh, the facade with a, a little bit of grime and uh, I guess we would be, be, be better back back here so you can see me holding this thing and, uh, and I've got this little little airbrush that just Oops, something just fell down that I didn't want to fall down. But we'll put it back in place. And uh, we'll grab some super glue. And just tack that down so it doesn't do that again. So, uh, yesterday what I did was I built the whole thing up. Uh, and... Uh, once it was done, I let it sit overnight. I made a couple changes to it that uh, that I thought were necessary, and uh, now we're just going to work at, at making this uh, look like the photograph was. So uh, you're going to hear my hair dryer here for a second. Changed, it's changed a bit. We'll go back to the other camera so you can see it again. So you can see. So now the next thing to do is. Uh, now where's my photograph? Here's my photograph. On the photograph, a lot of the brick has a white patina to it. So I'm going to use diluted. Uh, ink, uh, India ink, and I've got it in a container here. And I've got a brush, you can get the brush wet. And I'm just going to paint, you know, and we're going to switch to six. There it is lying on his back. So I'm going to turn it. And so what? Now this this is very diluted India ink. And 
and I'm going to put the picture in front of me here so I can see what I'm doing. And the white isn't everywhere on the building, just in some places. And I'm going to try and do it very lightly here so that we can come back with other stuff. Now like I say, it's not on every window. Uh, it's on some, not others. So I'm going to try and replicate that here now. Weathering is kind of a Go as you can, do what you feel you think looks right. I'm just going to take a Q tip here and uh, dab it on. And I'm going to go back in here and, uh, and underneath this window here. I'm just looking at it. And there isn't any on that one. There's, there's uh, grime on that one. So I'm going to wash this brush out, and I'm going to. I've got a little bit of uh, grimy green color that uh, is left over from uh, left over from painting the. Uh, chain link fence that's going to go uh, go around here. Uh, you may have noticed it's got a tiny bit of a base on it. Take that out of there for now. We'll put it back in. With. I'm blocking it with my head, am I? So, you can see now that we've got some green down here, white throughout. Um, and now, what I need to do is to get a uh, some of this dark color. Now, where's my this is my thinner here. And I'm using a combination of acrylic and enamel paint uh, all of it from uh, from AK um, and they're all uh, they're all their uh, weathering colors Now I'm going to put a chain link fence around it, and that's why this, you may have noticed it's got a tiny little base on it. And that's because I'm going to make, I'm going to fill that with uh, garbage and junk to, uh, now where am I going with this? I'm going here. Uh, garbage and junk, which is, uh, shows up on the, on the photograph. There's a, a chain link fence that comes around from one edge of the building to the other. And I'm going to, uh, we'll put that in in place today, and uh, and that'll probably be it for our um, our weathering and and stuff. I'm just gonna, again, I'm just gonna trying to make it just visible, but not not over overly so. Um, so the next thing to do 
is to put the plastic in for the the window so I'm going to flip this over and I've got uh, some scrap plastic and I'm gonna, which way am I going to do this? I'm going to do it this way and I've got a pair of scissors that I use for this kind of stuff So, we're going to grab uh, a scrap of uh, something here, and we're going to grab uh, I'm going to go back to one here. So we're going to grab a, a scrap of, uh, of the cardboard I used to build the building, one of the offcuts from it. I'll put some super glue down on top of that, cap that so it doesn't dry out. And, of course, I'm hiding one of the things I need. Where are you? There you are. I, need, I use two things. It's <laughs> a lot. So, so here we go. We're going to take the, the, uh, the super glue. And we have to be careful because super glue will affect the... Um, you should be using canopy glue. In fact, I'm, I'm going to switch to canopy glue as soon as I've done this one window. So now where are you? Canopy glue. rid of this little thing because it no longer makes any sense to use that and we'll grab another piece of scrap from the uh, from the build and uh, put some canopy glue on it that makes more sense because it uh, it dries perfectly clear so if you do get it on your uh, you do get it on your uh, your acetate it uh, it doesn't show up so so we're going to take a little bit of cavity glue and put it on on here just a little bit let's go to let's go to six see if you can see it there we go and then uh, a little bit of cavity glue across the top and take the uh, plastic and put it in place and then let's grab a little bit more canopy glue. Did I just take that? Well I did did take it out of the way. There's not much point having a video if you can't see what's going on is there? And uh, again canopy glue and there you are. There's a piece of plastic. Okay, so now we're going to get the scissors, and again, we're going to cut. Now I have a, uh, a dumpster and a um, and one of those construction bins where they uh, throw all the garbage in when they're 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 big and stuff, and they're on being printed right now, so they won't be available in the video, but we. Uh, I'm, I'm learning the, to do the uh, what um, YouTube calls shorts. They're 60-second things. So I did uh, I did one of my welding shop build, and I uh, got a comment that the doors the, the big door didn't look the right right size, and so I uh, I uh, redid the front of the building. And posted another short so people could see what it looked like with the appropriate size window. 
windows and window, window size or door size in place. Alright. And last piece of there. There. Where are you there? You should lose transparent plastic on So now we have glass in there. Oops. Where did you go? Of course, the super glue one. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, when you use the right product, it makes a difference. Now on the on the building itself, a lot of the panes of glass have been painted out, or or, or in a, in a color, and for I, I'm going to paint them from the back. Because uh, it's that's easier. <laughs> so hang on here. I'm going to do a couple windows and just see how it works. I I, I have no idea. We'll see how this in India ink works on on acrylic. Actually, that's interesting. Let me see from the front what that looks like. Oh, I could live with that. But I think I'm going to get I'm going to put a little bit more ink in here. In some cases it's just Now, there are a couple of windows on the in the in the photograph that have haven't got, haven't got their their stuff blocked out. So we'll just, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to uh, there we go. So we'll go back. To, uh, to seven here, and now you can see the windows have paint paint in them. And I'm going to clean my brush. And just put it down here in case I don't use it again. I don't think I have. So now, the last thing to do before we start working on the ground is to cover the back of the uh, of the building with a uh, piece of cardstock, black cardstock. So I'm just gonna actually I can do it right on the model. I'm just gonna take the Eileen's tacky glue here and just put a bead down on the side. down the other side and then we're just going to take this and glue it in place so 
we'll go back to the, yep well, we are on the so you can see it now so the next thing is the is the chain link fence and I buy the chain link fence from a guy in England uh, comes on a the man's name is Jane Norris this is sheet number three and it's uh, sheet number 14696 and you can see it's a fairly good sized piece of I think it's an A, A4 piece uh, size I don't think it's a, 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 a Canadian or American paper size yeah it's 12 12 by 8 and a half so, what I'm going to do here, I've already sort of spray painted the, uh, the chain link fence, so I'm just going to move some, some stuff out of the way. I'm going to get my paints to mixer right now. I'll put that over there. That there, let's back you up. There we go. So, I'm going to get my knife out here and I'm going to cut the. Uh, the fence off of the uh, now I had a pair of scissors that are intended to cut this stuff but of course I did something foolish with them and I broke one of the tips off so I'm going to cut this off of the uh, top of the main sheet. And I can get my scissors down inside here. Here's the, uh, the fence, and I'm now going to cut it out of the sprue itself. And it's, uh, we'll see if this works. There's that one. The, uh, I, I, this is not brass. I believe that this is stainless steel. It's, it, it's not brass because it, it sure doesn't look like brass in terms of its, its appearance as, a, as, as an item. And now I need... Now can I just wiggle that back and forth? I can. So... So we'll get those little pieces. Because it is a very shiny... Uh, it looks to me like it's it's some kind of, of thin thin stainless steel or something um, anyway so the next step here is uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put something fairly substantial behind this and then we'll see how we what happens here so now I have where are you? I have a special tool for this. As my wife says I own every item, every tool in the, under the under the sun. And this can clamp around it and then I can bend the fence. And uh, once it's bent, I can put it in place. So that's gonna go. Uh, 
that. I don't know um, where are we at. I'm trying to think where we should be going. Should we be going to seven? Okay. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, you can, you can barely, barely see this fence, but it is there. Uh, let me see if I just tilt the light up a bit. So it's right here. There's the fence itself. I'll move it back in the camera. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and glue it into place there. And then I'll be able to fill that with... Uh, I've got some static grass and some moss and a couple other things to throw in there to make the finished product. So, I know that this is going to be finicky. I know that I'm going to probably uh, have the air in here blue as can be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to call it quits there. <laughs> and I'll work on that uh, off, off, camera, off camera. So, as always, take care of yourself, take care of your family. And uh, remember, it's uh, your railroad and you can build it any way you want.